that. Let's get over to my man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also, it's a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side, Mastering Probability. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. Six months to six ninety five, which is a savings of one hundred and ninety nine dollars or twenty two percent in one full year for eleven ninety five, which is a savings of five hundred and ninety three dollars or thirty three percent. Now they all come with a thirty day money back guarantee, folks. Okay, so as you're coming over here, there's no reason that you can't get a year, six months. If it works for you, awesome. They, Steve has a huge amount of indicators that as soon as you get this newsletter, you're gonna basically get all of Steve's indicators also. So it's a plus plus all around. If for some reason the newsletter doesn't work for you, 28th day, just cancel it. You're still going to understand the indicators he has, and you're going to have a great newsletter for the month. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Hey, I love that. I, th I think that was one of the four agreements cards that you were reading, or is that a different card? No, that was the four agreements, yeah. Yeah, I, I love that card. You Isn't know, it? It's a beauty, man. And it's it, so it hard to do, but it's a beauty. Because once you start doing it, you know, it's just like your, you know, life yeah. works for us. I mean, it, it, it's a fact. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, each and every day, you know, when I start the uh, show, um, you know, I, I, I suggest that people not become prisoners of their past. Right. Like said, pioneers of their future. Right. So it's really the exact same. We're very similar. Yes. There's some different language, you know, about it. And, but when it comes to trading and investing, it's like the number one thing you've got to do. <laughs> that <It> definitely is. <laughs> right? We're yeah. all going to get into a trade that goes south or what have you, hey. you know, and if you let that just sit there, it's going to be hard to take that next trade. No but, doubt, man. No know? doubt. So it, it's great because it just works like that for everything in life. And, you know, it, especially, you know, you and I, you know, we've got a number of grandkids you know, let alone our children and so yep. forth. And you can just see how, you know, it's just so important. I'm sure with the grandkids, you're having a blast, you know, keeping them empowered, you yes. know, and just, you know, it's, you know, the, yeah. So I, I think it's, it's a great card. I love when you, I love when you read those cards. No, because, because as specific. Steve does folks, uh, you know, and, you know, I haven't seen per Steve personally in a while, but when he was here, we used to go out golfing and have some fun. Yeah. Um, and the attitude is the name of the game, man. I mean, a good attitude folks can bust you through anything. I mean, exactly. And, yeah. and it can. Yeah. I mean, I could give you a million, you know, times it's happened. And, and I'm sure you have them too. It's just, it's just, all, you got to be tenacious, man, and yeah, keep the, the attitude the there. And you can change everything, man. It's so weird, yeah, man, that I really believe you can change it. So it's like, okay, yeah. it, it is what it is. You know, you only believe what you believe. So it's like, okay, man, that's, you for know. Sure. <laughs> for sure. Hey, look, some of my worst golf shots turned into some of the best golf shots. How cool I, is I, that? I've, I've, I've scored eagles, you know, from be, you know, from places that there's no way that it should have happened. That is a, cool. And a par four, you know, sinking yep. it from the, uh, from behind the trees or, or wherever it is. Sure. So, you know, I just have this belief that we're where we're supposed to be. And then you've got to take that positive frame of a mind and, and you know, move forward. So yeah. um, anyway, so I love I love that card. So look, last week when we were together, we were discussing the question of, uh, you know, has the are the equity markets uh, topping? Are they going to get ready yeah. to top out there? So I thought we'd follow up on that a bit. And last week, what we were looking at, folks, we were looking at the New York Stock, the New York Stock Exchange, the Advanced Decline Oscillator. Now, the Advanced Decline Oscillator, what that does, folks, is that takes the Advanced Decline line, and it shows us the difference between the 19 and the 39-day exponential moving average. I won't go into the detail as to why I use that, but those are really important exponential moving averages out there. It's a second panel out here where it says advanced decline oscillator that we're taking a look at. And when it gets above plus 150, it tells us that we, that we are in an overbought condition. Now, an overbought condition does not necessarily mean that the market is topped. It might just mean a short-term top, but does not necessarily mean that the market has topped. And, and since then, uh, the, uh, the overbought condition has been uh, worked off. And, and we can see here, now this was a snapshot from maybe about a half an hour ago, that advanced client oscillator, I've got a little red line. It's a zero line that's out there. I see it, And yep. the simple meaning of that, Tom, and, and everybody listening, is when price is above that, it tells us that, generally speaking, buyers are the ones in control. And when price is below that, a zero threshold line, it tells us that sellers. Now, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but that's the basic general meaning that most people could uh, could go with out there. So 
During the last three years, though, whenever, and we talked about this last week, whenever that advanced client oscillator closes above the plus 150 level, so again, we're looking at that uh, second panel out here, that the way that the New York Stock Exchange has formed its top is when prices moved higher. So we're looking at these uh, folks, and we're looking at these green uh, diagonal lines on top of price that shows price going higher. But when you start taking a look at the uh, the area below that advanced client oscillator, what we see is a falling tops pattern out there. So right now what we need to see is we need to see price get above that high that was formed out here, with uh, which is uh, 15 475.19. So that's a level that we're watching. If price can close above that, and we still have these declining tops. That's at least the pattern that's been associated with tops inside at least the New York Stock Exchange or the general market at that stage. So that's still something that we're looking for. However, and this is a however, if we take a look at the daily cash indices out here, and this is again a snapshot from earlier, what we'll see out here is one of the patterns that you referenced, one of the indicators or tools that I use is the TD9 count pattern. And here if we take a look at the NDX100, it's going to complete a TD9 count top today, as is the NASDAQ composite. Now, when you take a look at the other indices, we don't have that uh, we don't have that indication yet. But the NASDAQ can certainly drive markets lower. And what that suggests is that we should see retracement back to the oscillator and change line. For the NDX100, it's around the 15068 level. For the NASDAQ composite, it would be around the 13,398 area. Now, this is a table, Tom, that I uh, generated. This is one of the market analyzers, and I include market analyzers like this inside the daily and the evening uh, newsletter that I put out here. But this is a scan of the entire NDX100. And what this shows us is that 28% of the instruments inside the NDX100 either have or are likely to form TD9 count tops. So that's a pretty decent indication. And when you take a look at this chart, it suggests that price would pull back to this column here that says daily oscillator and change line out there. Now, if we take a look at the top 10 holdings in the index 100, those represent 52% of the weighting. And here we've got seven of those instruments, or 41.6% of the weighting, that are going to form these TD9 count tops between today and tomorrow out there. Here's Apple I've got uh, down here. In the case of Apple, we'd be looking for price to pull back again to its oscillator and change line. So if anybody was copying this, uh, they can take a look at those potential trades. Here's an example of a, of, of, of a trade here. Here's a failed pattern. This is Costco. And last Friday, Costco confirmed a TD9 count top. But what it also did is it passed a B point with volume, and it created the A to B equals CD. So Costco is likely going to make a move up to at least 577.89. I say at least because this retracement was less than, was about a 0.382 retracement. Apple's going to confirm that TD9 count top today. Take a look at the last two tops inside of Apple, TD9 counts. So we're going to get that same pattern today, and price should pull back to the 179.27 area out there. Again, uh, folks, here are all of the instruments with inside the NDX 100, and I'll give you a quick trade potential. Those folks that want to go short, take a look at AMAT, because in the case of AMAT out here, it's got a nice move down to about that 141.38 level, and the stop would be just to close above Friday's high. Folks, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. You just saw a glimpse of a couple of the indicators that he used. Come over to our website at TFNN. Newsletters on the right-hand side. You get Mastering Probability. Hit that button. Steve, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take care. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying